What's up YouTube, TCM here back with another video. And today we're gonna be looking at AI and seeing if it's capable of solving CAPTCHAs. Now we're all familiar with CAPTCHAs. We go to log in and it says, prove to me you're not a robot. And it reminds me of this John Mulaney joke. I smell a robot. <laughs> prove, prove, prove. <laughs> prove to me you're not a robot. So we're gonna figure out today can AI solve CAPTCHA? And if it can, then how do we prove that a robot is not solving all of this? So we'll take a look and see what AI is capable of right after an ad from the sponsor. And as always, if you like the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Pardon the interruption. AI tools can be super handy. They can help you write a poem, solve CAPTCHAs, and even write code. But is that code secure? Well, AI is only as good as the data it's trained on, which means vulnerabilities in code could be there as it's generated or written. But that's where Sneak comes in. Sneak makes it fast and easy to secure code, whether it's being written by you or generated by AI. And here's how it works. You use your AI tools to generate code and put it into your IDE, and Sneak scans that code, flagging vulnerabilities in real time. You then get recommended fixes for those vulnerabilities that you can apply with just a single click. And so whether you're using AI or writing code yourself, you can give Sneak a try for free today by going to sneak.co forward slash the cybermentor. And of course, there is a link in the description below. Okay, so I just went to Google and I typed in CAPTCHA and I'm going to go to images. And I just want to grab a few images that we can use and see, okay, can AI actually figure this out? So this one looks pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and just save this. So we'll save that in here. And then let's go through. I don't want to give it too complicated of ones yet. This one looks okay. Let's go ahead and save this image. All right. And then we're going to go ahead. This one looks a little juicy. Let's go ahead and try to save this. Okay, save image as. And then let's see if we can find a good one. Here's one. This one's asking for buses. That one's fun. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's start with these as kind of a baseline and just see what AI can do. All right, so my favorite AI to use is ChatGPT. I think it's above and beyond most other AIs out there. And all I did, just shoved it right in there and I said, hey, can you read the text on this image? And immediately, ChatGPT says, the characters on the image appear to read TD forever, right? I don't know if this is a joke or not, but hey, I like the way it came out. So score a point for ChatGPT. It did awesome. Moving into Gemini by Google, we come in here and say, hey, can you read this text? And it says, yeah, sure, I can read it. And it says, type the characters above and go, which true, it does have type the characters above and go, but you can see it says, hey, this appears to be CAPTCHA and I am unable to bypass CAPTCHAs. And I'm just trying to weasel my way around this. I said, I'm not asking you to bypass it, but can you read the text? It says, yeah, I apologize for misunderstanding. And it just says, hey, actually, it's Arabic and it translates to an unclear set of characters in Arabic. Definitely not Arabic, uh, definitely just CAPTCHA and it just completely bombed this challenge. So zero points here for Gemini. Okay, last but not least, I tried out Microsoft's Copilot. Same thing, can you read the text? And it says, I apologize, but I cannot read the text in the image. So just flat out, no, can't do it on this easy challenge. It makes me not wanna even try any more of these with Copilot, but we'll try a couple more. All right, so if you're keeping score, that is one point ChatGPT and zero points everybody else. On to round two. I gave another easy image here. Okay, CAPTCHA 246, I said, can you read this text? And what happens? ChatGPT says, yep, I can read that text. It says CAPTCHA 246. Good job, ChatGPT, you nailed it again. Moving on to Gemini, we look at this same prompt here. It actually does get it right. It says the text in the image above says CAPTCHA 246. Now it says it's not able to solve captures by itself, but it can help with reading text and characters. Cool, so it did give us this one. I feel like it held back on the last one too, but it is what it is. All right, on to our trusty friend of Copilot by Microsoft. Again, I apologize, but I cannot read the text from the image. Absolute party foul, Microsoft. If you're keeping score at home, that is now two points for ChatGPT, one point for Gemini, and a big fat zero for Copilot. 
All right, let's make it a little bit more complicated. And we're going to use this image right here, which reminds me of this John Mulaney joke as well. Look at these curvy letters. <laughs> Much curvier than most letters, wouldn't you say? No robot could ever read these. Okay, so we have begun to trick the robot a little bit. Here, the text, I believe, is too blurry and it's causing issues with ChatGPT. I've tried this lots of times. It's just not working. To the human eye, we can clearly read that this is P-A-L-A-U-B-I-T-S. However, the robot's not picking it up. On to Gemini, we can see that we've asked it again and it says, no, I can't. The text is blurred. Okay, we're 0 for 2. And we know damn well that Copilot isn't going to solve anything. And as you can see here, it just says, I cannot read the text in the image. So it's just 0 for 3 all around. And Copilot, we're done with Copilot. It's not even in the equation anymore. Okay, so it looks like the robots are having a little bit of a hard time reading the blurrier images. So we have one challenge left that I want to go through. And before we do, let's just give a hint on what the challenge is with no other than John Mulaney. I've devised a question no robot could ever answer. Which of these pictures does not have a stop sign in it? Okay, here's the moment of truth. We've got this capture here where we have to identify images with a bus in it. And we've got this image, this image, and this image here are our buses. We've got three. And we asked ChatGPT, I just said, there are nine images here, which of them have a bus in them? And ChatGPT actually gets two out of three correct. That's not bad. So it says, hey, there is a bus on the second one in the first row. That's absolutely correct. It says the second one in the second row, it's not correct. Those are street lights. And then it says the first one in the third row is a bus. And that is correct. Two out of three, that is scary good. Let's see how Gemini did. Okay, so Gemini can tell, again, it's a CAPTCHA. It's really good at identifying CAPTCHAs, but it is absolute shit at everything else. And it says, hey, in this one you sent me, the square that contains an image of a bus is the first square. And that is a van by all means. That is nothing. I mean, it's like a mini bus, but it's not a bus. All right. And if you expected Copilot to do anything, you should have known better by now. It did not solve this at all. Okay, so that was a very short test. On basic images, ChatGPT did very well. Gemini got one out of two, and Copilot, who knows what Copilot's doing. On the blurrier images, the ones that are a bit harder to read, ChatGPT did struggle. Uh, the other AI struggled as well. And then on the image of the bus, when you had to pick from a grid, ChatGPT actually did pretty well. Two out of three is not that bad. The other two did not even get close. So that's telling me that, yes, AI can solve CAPTCHAs, and in the future, it's definitely going to be able to if we're already this close. And this is just what's publicly available. This is just testing out a few different engines. It's not testing out all known AI. I am sure that there's AI out there that can solve CAPTCHA already. So what are we going to do in the future? How do we change? How do we prove, as John Mulaney would say, that we are real? How do we say, yes, I am a person, not a robot, because now robots can solve this stuff. And that is it for this video. Thanks for traveling down AI road with me. If you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. And until next time, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.